Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of months, I've been posting about the significant size increase of the Windows 10 News and Interest feed that's activated from the taskbar widget. And just a quick recap, because I may leave one or two videos pertaining to this down below and in the end screen. We can see that it's still two-thirds of my screen size. It takes up two-thirds of my screen and on this um, laptop goes right to the top of the actual height of the screen. Now just a quick video, just to do a quick comparison between what this looks like as we can see in Windows 10 and what the widget board looks like over um, on Windows 11. And this is just a screenshot I took on my Windows 11 laptop prior to posting and we can see that things are looking pretty much the same in regards to the look and the feel of the widget board on Windows 11 and the news and interest feed on Windows 10. Now on Windows 11 obviously everything is left orientated where in Windows 10 it's right orientated but yeah you get this area here to the left hand side in Windows 11 where if you don't enable any widgets is a blank area and if we head back to Windows 10, the same applies. So right orientated, but we're still underneath, as an example, the weather widget, which I always have on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. We get this blank space. And if we head back to Windows 11, yeah, you can apply your different widgets, like to do tips, photos, phone link, just to mention a couple. But with Windows 10, obviously we don't get any widgets but we do get these info cards, um, which to some extent or the other could be termed a widget, but they are actually called info cards on Windows 10. So very much looking very similar. And of course, all the options and settings and that are here to the top. And if we head back to Windows 11, we can see the same apply. So Microsoft obviously trying to collate the look and feel of Windows 11's widget board and the news and interest fly out menu on Windows 10. So just uh, making you aware of this, just to do a quick comparison, because towards the end of last year, as I have been posting, Microsoft started pushing out a couple of Windows 11 features into Windows 10. And that obviously was because um, we were expecting, or it was expected we were going to be getting a Windows 12 this year, and Microsoft pulled the plug on that due to a management shakeup at uh, Microsoft. So they started focusing a lot more on Windows 11, 24H2. And this is why I think they started pushing a couple of um, Windows 11 features into Windows 10. And this is just one of them. And the info cards, in case you're unaware, these cards here that can fill up this space. Um, you can apply those by heading to your profile. And here you can see information cards. And you can toggle those on and off just on a quick side note. So there we have it. Windows 10, Windows 11, widgets board, news and interests looking very much um, the same. And uh, um, it's going to be interesting to see if we get any more Windows 11 features rolling out to Windows 10 before the official end of support, according to Microsoft, of Windows 10 next year on the 14th of October 2025. And obviously, if we do get any more little tweaks and adjustments coming over from the Windows 11 side into Windows 10. I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.